I love having repeat guests. There's not been many are. repeat guests. But Big Bird from the 610 Stompers. Absolutely. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm honored to be a repeat guest. I love it when you do. I love, I love the repeat guests. Yeah. You know? Well, you, you, you had a ton of views last time because the last time you were on because you made me like get up and do like the 610 Stomper dances. For sure. So, it's all about the dancing. Yes. It's all, and so that was definitely the... Um, the catalyst, like I, I want to see Kevin, I want to see this jackass at the coffee shop make a jackass out of I himself. I want to see if he can dance in front of all of these people. At right, 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 and it was it was crazy because we, we had like a lot of people, and some people are trying to get their coffee, and we're like dancing. Yeah. So, um, so if you want to see me dancing, you definitely want to check out that episode. That was that was a good video. That was a that fun was a good video. Yeah, so the first episode, go check that one out. Because um, in this episode, I, I really wanted to talk about, um, and also in the first episode, we talked about like how the Six Ten Stompers came yep. to be. But you know, one of the things that like I'm really like interested in. Okay, yeah. So you came, you're doing this stomper thing, and like you're dancing, and it's cute. Right. But like the Stompers are almost ten years old now. That's exactly right. Next year is our tenth year anniversary. Ten, so you've been doing the same dances. You haven't been doing the same dances. Don't yeah. correct me. I, mean, I know. We got guys that would take offense to that. I'm not one of them, but, <laughs> but we do. We, we, we make new dances every year, and we've been doing the same sort of shtick for it's almost the, 10 years. For 10 years. Yeah. So the question is, how has that, why does that, why are we still watching you dance? Why are we doing this? Well, I, I think there's something, um, there, there's something organic about watching people dance. It, it always draws the eye, uh -huh. right? So I think we'll always have that because our focus is always on dancing, uh -huh. right? But then there's also just the sort of the hilarity of watching guys from their 20s to their 70s now uh -huh. okay, 70s. dancing through the streets. Uh -huh. It's unexpected. And, you know, anytime it's like watching something, you don't necessarily know why you're drawn in, uh -huh. but you are because it's, you know, it's not something you see every day. Right. And so, and also like y'all have just like embedded uh, and, and I can't help but think it's like you embedding yourself in the community right and like so y'all have all kind of like fundraisers like constantly absolutely and just within this past year we developed the Stompers Give Back program which is a program by itself where we donate money to local nonprofits and mm -hmm. we've you know over the past years we've been able to donate maybe 250 to 300 thousand dollars cash Wow. I mean not including performances so we've been very fortunate to be able to do that. And I think the authenticity of what we bring to this city is something that New Orleans is really about. Yeah. You know, we're all about spreading joy, making people smile. And then the byproduct of that is raising money. And we don't really need all that money, so we just give it away. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> nice, to, it's nice to have money in the bank. But, you know, when, when, uh, when people so are... This is New Orleans, so that means you're skimming a little off the top. I mean, always skimming off the top. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get free coffee with Kevin. Yeah, that's, that's exactly... Skimming yeah, off the that's top. Skimming. <laughs> Not bad. It's delicious, by the way. Thank you much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. you got your uh, I, your sweet vanilla cream, cold sweet vanilla cream, cold yeah. It's Waking me up this morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, so you got an event coming up soon? We do. We do. So we do. We do two large events a year. Uh huh. Um, the ball, the debutante ball. Okay, I did that. I didn't do that this year though. I did okay. it Last year. This year was a pretty good year, Kevin. This, I, I missed it. was a good one. Year. It's okay. We have it next year as well. Okay. We're going to have it every that. year. Okay. So the debutante ball. What's the theme next year for the debutante ball? Do you know? Oh, I, Can you not announce it? I have a good idea of what it's going to be, but we have to run it by our event chairs and our board first. So okay. it's going to be good. What I'll is tell it? I'll tell you. <laughs> you almost have it. The bar crawl this year uh -huh. is called Hawaii 610. Oh, okay. So it's like Hawaii 5 0 theme. Okay. But just throw on your coconut bra. I'm sure you have a few of them. I, I, a grass like, skirt. Yep. Uh huh. And come down and dance with us from bar to bar to bar to bar. And then we throw a big party at the chop yard with DJ Jubilee oh, shutting it down. Oh, DJ. <laughs> DJ Jubilee is that's, the best. We've partnered with him so many times, and he is fantastic. Yeah, look, that's 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 my high school right I'm there. I'm telling you, he, it's, it's sort of the same authentic New Orleans. He, he, he's it. He's right? it. He's and it. we hire him for our debutante ball and our bar crawl. And he's so gracious. He comes out way longer than we ask him to. And yeah. this year it's on June 9th, by the way. I need June to say 9th. that. Okay, June 9th, June the, 9th bar crawl. the bar crawl. And I'll it put starts, the link below. Yeah, right, right I gotta there. buy tickets or whatever. Yeah. Or? Okay. Well, we can work something out with you. But oh, nice. We encourage people Skip to buy off tickets. The top. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's like 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. And a beat of beer is partnered with us. So you can drink a beat all day for free. Uh, wow. So it's a $40 ticket for essentially a Unlimited. party from noon till 9 p.m. 
An unlimited beat. Unlimited beat. So forty dollars for unlimited beat. It, it's it's a really sweet deal. And, and I have an excuse to wear a coconut bra. And your coconut bra. Like you need one, but I but get I, it. I, yeah, is it. Well, it, it is Thursday. Right. You know, so. <laughs> Any day that ends in Y. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. So it's it's a really fun party, and we teach you our dances. Oh, okay. So we're actually going to teach you our dances, and you're going to dance with us from bar to bar to bar. And it's five bar stops. And then, again, it's a finishing party at the chop yard where we just throw down. And so that's, so, so going, let me, let me take this back around full circle. Yeah. Because I was asking, like, why does, you know, the, the stompers, I guess, continue to be a thing. Right. And then you're talking about, like, this party, whatever. But, like, bringing it back full circle, like, and you said it before, like, oh, like, hey, we're, we're authentic New Orleans. Like, yeah. we're just, we're here to have fun, right? Yeah. Like, it's fun. It's something anyone can do. Anyone can do it. We'll teach you our dances. And even if you look at our members, not everyone nails the dance moves. <laughs> right? Not, that's not a requirement. It's encouraged. But we have some guys that you know just might not get it. Uh -huh. And so when we teach you our dances in the fun, streets, though. everyone's having fun. They're having fun. I, it, you'd be, I'd be hard-pressed like to say you're not going to have fun dancing so when you with do us. The, when you do the, 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 um, the tryouts, yep. you have to have, like, you're looking for people that are like going to make people smile, not Absolutely. necessarily nail the dance. Piece. Absolutely. So only 30% we have judges and they have okay. score sheets. So we take it pretty seriously. Oh, wait. August 11th and 12th at Harrah's. Oh, August, uh, That's auditions. Uh, okay. So I've, and I've been told I have to go to this. Auditions have They're grown hilarious. into this thing. Harrah's, partnering with Harrah's is one of the best things we ever did because they've given us a theater where there's three or four hundred. We sold it out last year. Three or four hundred people watching these guys audition by themselves. Uh, but again, only thirty percent. So it's of like that you score think you sheet. can dance, but you don't have. But to. you don't have to dance. Right. <laughs> so like, there's a, there's a thirty percent requirement of just saying, is this person someone we want to hang out with? Because once you're a stomper, you're always a stomper. Okay. Right. So dance moves is just as important as is as is your personality. Is, you know, can you laugh at yourself? Um, and you have to be able to just spread joy. Gotcha. That's kind of what we're about. I need to try out for this. Um, Kevin, if you want to show up at 3 a.m., which is when guys start showing up, it, oh, yeah, it's Man. turned into a thing. When we used to have it, yeah, we used to have it right up the street at Maison, and there was a line of people camped out to try out. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, 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 no. I mean, look, no, I can't say I would do we it. We could be. <laughs> I joined early enough that I got in pretty easy. Be before but, the... Yeah, be before it blew up. Before the craziness. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about 3 a.m. We can uh, save you a spot. Maybe we can work something out. Yeah, maybe so. We could do like uh, they do. You could do like they do at Galatoire's, right? Pay some people to wait in line for me. Is that, <laughs> that's true. Can we you got do guys that? you can pay. Yeah. Is that is that a? Do they have? Has anyone done that yet? To pay for a spot? No one's done that yet that I know of. Because like, but look, well, they have professional line sitters at uh, yeah. Galatoire's. That's a whole their whole thing. You know. I don't see why not. That would be oh, that not. would be absolutely. That's a really hilarious. that's a really good way to think about it. <laughs> so, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so it's fun and it's it's happy and it's it's a party and that's yeah. what and that's what makes it, I guess, endearing to us. For would sure. you say is that? What... I mean, New Orleans is always looking for another party. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. that, that's what I've found out. I've only been here for eight years, and wow, almost nine years. So five of those years have been me running this group, mm -hmm. and it, it's become more and more evident that New Orleans is always looking for an opportunity to have a good time, a time to smile, a time to celebrate New Orleans. Yeah. And that's what we're about. We're that's... about just celebrating New Orleans, the culture, and we've, we've been fortunate enough to take it around the country these past few months, few yeah, years. Yeah, so what have you been doing? You've got, you've... Man, we have been to, the Cleveland Cavaliers flew us up there to perform at halftime of their game, which there's a video coming out soon on our Facebook of that trip. I saw the one with the, at, the, at the dome. The, yeah, the, so we've done. One was, that one was the 28 to 3. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was great. That was a, there's a fun story behind that. So we did the Dome. Cleveland flew us to Cleveland. Uh -huh. uh, we opened Jazz Fest with Sturgill Simpson, uh -huh. who is a big fan. We found that out. Uh, we went to the Kentucky Derby, and performed oh, at the Pegasus the, Parade. The Kentucky Derby. Uh, it, it's our second time going. And then we drove through the night back from Louisville, Kentucky, straight to the arena, and we performed with DJ Jubilee at halftime of a Pelicans playoff game. I mean, that happened within three weeks. Jeez. So we're, we're on a very fun trajectory right now, kind of moving our, our mission of fun and men dancing on a, more of a national level. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. We've well, all done the, the Macy's thing. Done right? Macy's twice, and that's always, you know, a fun experience. It's cold, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's a great time, you know, and it gets people happy. People smile. It's really hard to watch us and not smile. And it, 
And, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the source of pride that, like, because, like, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I know you. you right. You, but I don't, I, I don't, when I'm, like, watching the, the, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, like, that's a little bit of, like, New Orleans fun. Yeah, exactly. Because like, you, like, when you're watching that as a kid, you're like, they don't throw beads, click, you know? Like, I ain't yeah, it does Yeah, it doesn't that, even make sense. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, had, I watched that before I saw New Orleans parades. Uh, and now that I've seen New Orleans parades, I'm like, well, what are they doing? What are they just, yeah. They're not performing the entire time. They're just waving. Yeah. But, so, but y'all again, get in there and y'all are boom. Yeah, we, we dance the entire time during Macy's. We dance the entire time during the Kentucky Derby Parade. We don't, I mean, we train, like for different groups. <laughs> we train, right? train, train for this. We train. Train for We are this. party ambassadors. Exactly. You know. It's so cool. Man, thank you so much. I, I, really, I really appreciate you coming by and, and sharing that because I think, yeah, because like, I don't want to say the, the 610 Thompsons are not stale, but how do you, you but why does it not get stale? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's because like, you kind of like, yeah, that's the, that's, well, that's that's a, that's a bunch of guys that we wouldn't expect to have fun, like having fun. And that's exactly. Cool. That's it's a, it's every man. It's that's the way I look at it. It's your dad. It's your brother. It's your lawyer. Uh -huh. It's your the police officer. So it's it's, it's, your, it's everyone. It's ordinary men with, with extraordinary, extraordinary moves. moves. Exactly. You got it down. <laughs> Cheers, Mont. Thank you so much. Absolutely, brother. Thank Take you. Care. Bye.